Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're back out in Fishing North Atlantic, and we are big time now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, I have been grinding a little bit off recording, and I should have enough now for the final boat, and I'm actually at the wrong dock right now. So let's go over and buy that thing and say goodbye to the Hermes. It was a great boat, but now it's time to truly get the biggest boat in the sea. All right, this is exciting. It was a couple months of a... What the? Oh my god, there's a freaking crab boat for 30 million? I honestly thought the trawler boats were the biggest boats in this game. Clearly, we're not at the end, I guess. Now, I did have a bad experience crab fishing in this game, so we're gonna buy the Lunar Bow first. Not that we can afford the Atlantic Catcher anyways. And uh, yeah, I guess we have something to work towards at least because a lot of you guys want to see me do more crab fishing anyways. I just, I couldn't find the crab when we were doing it last time. All right, and look at this thing. It is beautiful. Okay, we have to check this out first while we're here. It's, it's light out right now, so it's a good time. Look at all this space for activities. Oh my God, I have an office. Back end looks a hell of a lot smaller. Is that is that a window? Man, there's some clean windows on this thing. I thought that was a door. How do I get out of here? Am I stuck in here? Oh, I'm just clearly blind. I'm curious to see how the net works here because yeah, there really isn't that much space in the back of this thing. The majority of the ship is the actual cockpit and I'm okay. That's where I spend 99% of my time anyways. Can I go to the front? All right, now we have another little seating area here. Dude, this is nice. I could see myself living on a boat like this. This is actually really really cool where the hell am i now it's like a maze okay maybe this is bigger than i thought it looks like from up there i guess i was way higher up that there wasn't much space down here but honestly this is this is pretty good oh that's not a good noise i'm i'm, I'm crashing into something right now so i should probably uh not check out my ship at port i forgot you know boats drift around I have to say, my guy has the worst jog ever. He's literally running right now, and look at how fast I'm going. This is so frustrating. Okay, but I think that's pretty much everything. I could be missing something. I gotta make sure I'm not getting too much damage, though. Just out of curiosity, let's hire a crapper here. Oh, a maximum of seven? My other boat could hold more? <laughs> that's so weird. Why could the other boat have more people? Maybe this boat is just more efficient, too. I honestly have no idea, but you know what? That's great. One less person I have to pay. Not not that I pay them anyways. Oh, the lost artifact is here. Okay, so this was the mission I was talking about in the last episode. Um, I guess we should do that because I want to see where it is. Okay, so it's sunk somewhere. I don't know if I should get in my speedboat or not, but I want the artifact displayed on this boat, damn it. It should be pretty easy to get to. I think we can fast travel anyways. And there she be, the sunken treasure that I need. In retrospect, I should have definitely gotten my little boat. This is hard to control. I'm like, can, can I not grab it? I'm in it. Come on, I'm literally running over it right now. I wonder if it has to be like in the middle of my boat. It's just that I'm so big. Can I grab it? Am I too big? Am I literally too big to do this mission? What do you want from me? Well, Operation Artifact has left me no choice but to get out the old selfie for its speed. And I'm thinking, like, honestly, I think I was too big. Like, I wasn't fully in the circle because I was too big for the circle. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, dude, seriously. Oh, my God, this is cool. Oh, I got to actually find it. Oh, come on. I'm so close right here. Now we just need to figure out which way. It's not south and west, so it's probably or south and north. So it's probably west and east. Doesn't help that the worst storm has happened now when I'm in my little boat. So it's really fun dealing with these waves. Is that, is that glowing thing it? What the hell? Come on. Come on. Yes! Grab it! Grab it! Oh, it was it. That little glowing thing. <laughs> That's actually great. Well, there it is, guys. I did all that for a coin, but hey. I found treasure, damn it, and I'll take it. Coins are worth a lot of money anyways. Well, that was fun. Let's actually start fishing now, shall we? So I went back to my uh, honey pot, if you will. I couldn't find much intel on fish uh, in the deep aside from redfish. I want to try this zone first, though, because I it's been really good to me lately. And uh, we'll see if there's still some fish here. What the hell? Do I not have to freeze and stack? Oh, that's amazing. I wonder if they spoil quicker or if the whole freaking boat's a refrigerator. Okay, this is a much different boat then. This is easier to deal with, 
I'm um, looking at my location here. Ooh, it's not so hot, I don't think, anymore. I mean, it was hot a month ago, but things change after a month. You know what? There's some fish popping up. Screw it. Let's at least try a net here, and we'll see how we can do. Oh, thank God. I, I get my coins on this ship as well. Now, I'm assuming, just judging by this death size, that there is some more artifacts to get. So maybe we'll go artifact hunting soon. Okay, well, I guess it's going to be a little easier for the crew. I don't have to work them to the bone anymore. All I seriously need on this boat is maybe five total. Having a cook is always a good idea and you hardly ever have to repair. So this is, this is an insane difference. And also, I just, I love this seating arrangement. I can actually see out. I am excited for this ship and let's set our first trawl. It, is, it just looks so much cooler too. I don't know what the hell we're going to do in the front. I don't think we do anything in the front. So we don't even really need this big of a boat. I'm assuming that's for unloading. I mean, that's why the cranes are there at least. And I'm pretty sure the net goes into this thing and comes out here. But we'll find out once we're uh, down catching some fish. So I'm excited to see how this works. Um, also, I have the HOC meter now. So we should see how much fish are coming in the net. So hopefully I don't screw up as much. Definitely not as good as it once was here. So it's going to be harder to find these schools. But we should be okay. All right. Finally on a school here. I had to go quite deep. Much deeper than what I usually go. So we might want to move our ship. Actually, it seems like the fish went away from our honey hole. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to hit this school at least. As you can see, I caught a little bit. But that's just some random fish that we're going about. Might actually be able to catch this school. Well, we'll definitely be able to catch at least a little bit of this school. We're going into the red zone now almost as you can see. And there we go. We just went through the school, so we should start seeing it go up now. Um, unless I somehow totally missed that. There might be a, a different type of fishing strategy, but no, there we go. We got a four. A four is not that much. Uh, nine is when you want to get a little scared, so four is great. It's going to go n up nice and slow. Uh, we're going to five now, so it might go a little bit faster. And now we're off the fish, as you can see. So now we can probably start trying to direct to another school. So that... Ugh. I, either we have a giant net or that was a pretty bad first catch. All right, we got another school perfectly in the middle right now. So it's been pretty dead, as you can see. I'm not even catching up random fish. So I'm thinking it's just a bad part of the ocean. Let's actually check. Yeah, I'm um, looking at the sonar here. I am looking way out right now. This is what we should be looking at, like 100 meters to 250. And yeah, it, it's just a dead zone. So I think once we're done here, we're going to move on and try and find another really good hole because... It's been a little rough. Okay, but now we at least see how this one works. I wonder if we get the um, fish turd again. It's not looking like it. Oh, this one's way more automated. Who's do? Whoa! Whoa, that was aggressive. All right, well, that's the most majestic fish turd I've ever seen. <laughs> so, yeah, they, I guess it sucks it in. This is way more high-tech than my other ship. And 38,690 kgs of fish were just added. That tells me we can hold almost double in our net because that was a 20% yield. Also, we can all hold a million kgs on this boat. That's over double what my other boat could hold. Why the hell would you buy the other boat? I don't know. Why did I buy it? Well, I wanted to experience it because, yeah, that can only hold 400,000. So... We're going to earn so much money if we can fill this thing. It's going to be hard to get a million kgs, though. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to head over to the redfish and see if we can find anything there, hopefully. Uh, should I be worried? I fast traveled, and now my, my, my tube seems to be back where we were. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We break the game? Oh, actually, just reset now. Okay. I didn't even notice. Why am I kept... That's illegal. I'm not supposed to be catching fish right now. I'm not complaining. Yeah, what? What? My my doors are above 100 meters. Dude, this boat is weird. Well, I can see why I caught fish when I was letting out at least. We clearly made the right decision to move over here. This is this is kind of like where we were before. So, this is this is so nice. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that some swordfish over there or tuna for good luck? God, I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Usually you're in the shallows too. Don't eat my fish. That's all I ask. Um, should I be alarmed about my net randomly vanishing to the pits of hell? No? Okay. The animations are sometimes impressive in this game. Well, I'm a little nervous, but finally I'm on an actual school. Mind you, I already have 35% uh, in the inventory here, but we'll see what happens with this. Uh, it, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky, but I'm having a really hard time pinpointing the school. So we got another five yield. Um, damn it. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Go up a little bit more. God, this is kind of like gambling. There we go. Yeah, the six. Give me the seven, damn it. Aw. Okay, finally. 
finally we're getting good i just hit a little school i'm trying to go for this big school obviously i'm risking it here we are well 98 meters out but you gotta remember we're still catching fish so i'm gonna actually stop i could go deeper and go right on this school but i don't need much more fish i just i just want to see what a full net is like so i'm risking it only because it's been so hard for me to get on these schools i don't know if it's this boat it feels like it's harder to maneuver that or the schools are smaller this time of year i honestly don't know all right so i figured out that 50 meters for whatever reason is the limit on this boat um so i just stopped uh pulling in because i'm gonna bet i'm gonna hit 50 here please tell me i hit this school look at the red the red means we're getting a lot of fish right now and there it goes oh did it did i not get it because i was under 100 did it work now <laughs> the, the one time i didn't want it to work okay that's why you wait uh, we did we did get the five that might take a while too that was a, that was a massive school by far the biggest school i've seen and there we go. I just wanted the warning, damn it. I should probably, oh, I don't know, because we'll be able to get in, it in right away once we go over 50. So I'm just going to take a risk here and let the, let the rest come in. And yeah, there we go. We're done. Okay. So we did get them after all. I was a little worried there when it took a while to get to the actual fish. Finally, I got into the red zone. Oh my God, I'm catching more fish. Damn it. Maybe I should have waited out there. That was a seven. That was the best yet. <laughs> That's okay, though. We still got 70%. All right, and this one should be over the 100,000 for the first time ever. As you can see, I've been close the last couple of nets, but I didn't get over the 100, and there we go. So I don't think the net is double the size because that was about a 75% yield. I think a max net would be like 160, 180. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with 137,000 pounds of fish. All right, it's been a while since I've been on some fish. We just went through the side of a school. There we go, four... I'm getting excited about fours. Highest I've seen, I think, is seven. But just a little bit of an update. Uh, we haven't even gotten close to breaking a net, and we're currently at 776,000 in the boat. So a few more nets, and we should be good to fill this thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to reel in this now and uh, throw it out again. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. A good old five as I'm reeling in. Back into the red zone, a six. Are we going to beat my record here? Should I stop it for a little bit? I'm getting kind of cocky now. This might be our best one yet. All right, now it looks like we're going to get out of this uh, as soon as we get over the 50 meters here. Oh, yes, finally. Finally, I got another red zone. I also love how in the last boat, I freaked out at red zones in this boat with how big the nets are. I crave those red zones. And this should be our best one yet. Finally, 150. I think the other one was 137. That is a crap load of fish. Okay, so now we're at 926. We just need one more good net to fill this boat. Well, finally, we're on the fish, and it looks like we're done, but I'm a little scared because I am reeling into a school. I'm actually on fish right now, and I only have... Oh. <gasps> oh, that's not... What? How do I do this right at the end? I'm not even on a freaking school. It doesn't make sense. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm going to do um, the strategy of sp spreading out my doors as much as possible because I'm about to hit a freaking another school. My freaking luck. I, I have not found a nine this whole time, and the moment I get it is when I literally cannot grab the fish. Like, anything over, like, 60 right now, I do not need. Actually, you know what I've never done, and why don't I try and do this, is actually go in reverse so the net just kind of chills in the water. Is that, that wouldn't let the fish out, would it? I worry about that. But honestly, I'm more worried about catching fish right now. Oh, God, I'm reversing into a school. I'm literally reversing. How do I do this? Stop. Look at this. This is insane. And yet, yet, I have been fishing for almost four hours to get this boat filled. And I have not seen anything like this. And of course, to the end. So let's start reeling in both sides. And I, I'm assuming we're not going to catch fish with how screwed up this is right now. Hopefully. And finally, after that little scare, we have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have filled this massive beast to its brim, hopefully, with some fresh fish. So, yeah, the only two fish that this boat can catch, by the way, is mackerel and pollock. So that might be why it takes a little longer to fill. <laughs> oh, my God. 78,000 kgs of fish was lost. That's one-fourth of my old boat. Jesus. Well, the great thing about this boat is we don't have to do anything. So you guys, you, I, I don't have to uh, abuse you. You can just rest as we go back to port. Okay, thank God Lunenburg is, like, buying for a good price right now. Digby as well. I guess we could go to Digby. Dennis Point's looking a little bit lower. 
It will actually be interesting to see how good this is because mackerel is by far the worst of the trawling fish you can catch at $4 a kg. And Pollock really isn't that impressive as well, kind of in the mid-tier here with all the other fish. What you really want to get is the cod, which we cannot catch. So yeah, I'm actually curious to see how much that will affect our profits. Um, only one way to find out, and that's to go sell this stuff. All right, crew, just go for a rest real quick. I'm totally not going to sell this without you here. And there we go. Six million by far our most profitable catch yet. But I will say not as much as I expected. And that's just because of the two types of fish that we can do. Regardless, you can't really complain when you're earning almost six million with one boatload. And that puts us back over 10 million. So we should be able to get the snow crab boat pretty quickly considering we have the lunar bow now. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Should we get that boat? Try some snow crab again? Last time it didn't go so well. Um, hopefully with the big boat, it would go a lot better. But yeah, I, only if you guys really want to see it, I'll do it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.